a lot of times you can't get to sleep. A lot of times it's like Christmas Eve. You know what's coming in the morning. Sometimes you just want to get there. Sometimes you just want it over with. You've been working for this for years, for for months. Like it's been, you eat, you sleep, and you breathe. That everything revolves around it. You arrive at the facility and somewhere, even somewhere you've been every single time. You've been there. It's the same thing. No big deal. Suddenly, the day you show up for competition, everything's different. The floor feels different, the atmosphere feels different, there's, there's a tingling sensation in the air, it's, it's crisp, it's clean. It's a day full of anxiety, you know, every little thing matters, you start to watch every little thing. When you dive in the water, the first thing you think is how you feel. You feel good, the water feels, the water feels extra, it just it has that special feel, it just has that, that feel that you can't quite describe. You cut through the water, you dive in, and it's, it's just this, it's almost electric. It's almost like everything you touch has this extra sensation to it. Three dollars, three samot usok ma reggel. Nine hundred gyors, száz mel, fifty gyors. Melyiket várod a legjobban? Négy gyors. És mit vársz? Hát egyéni csúcsot, és ha minden jól megy, akkor országos csúcsot is. He is one of those kids where it just, I don't know what you want to say, like, it's just, you're never going to realize how that happened. It's just right place, right time. We opened up a swim club. And we said that, you know, people that were interested to come check it out, we wanted to see them swim. We wanted people to see, like, to ask us questions. We wanted to find out the feedback from them. And jean Bor showed up. And by far the best kid I've seen swim in a very long time. And he was like 12 years old. Found out he was living in Deberson, so I thought oh, that was never going to happen. It's about two hours out. And his family was like, no, we're moving here to swim for you. <laughs> uh, and, you know, his commitment to that just got me super committed. We got our timeline. We got our to the minute timeline for both Jambor and her. All they gotta do is follow the timeline, do what they have to do during that block, and they're good to go. Um, yeah, she's on time, she's doing really right. Just a matter, seems a little nervous, but that's expected in her first competition of the season. She said uh, she's never nervous. Oh yeah. Everyone gets nervous, that's not bad. She's not a bad nervous, she's a good nervous. There's a difference. Sometimes you're nervous where you can't function. Sometimes you're nervous where it makes you better. So she's usually nervous like an artist gets ready before they go out for a concert. Like they didn't forget the words. They just excited to go out there and put on a show and see how it goes. Valaria is a unique case. She was a very big concern for me. Um, after Rio, I started the preparations towards Tokyo. She was definitely someone that was on the list of um, up and coming people that I needed to make sure that I was keeping an eye on and watching how fast they were gonna evolve over time. I loved the way she raced, I loved her qualities, what she had, uh, she's, she's amazing talent. You're walking over to the, the entryway to go to the corridor to leave the warming up area and you, as you walk there, everyone's watching you walk for your competition. Everyone's turned to say, oh, who's going? You get closer and closer to the ready room, it's like the clock starts to tick in your head. You know it's, it's game time, you know it's coming, and you know the butterflies in your stomach start to move, okay? It's, it's, it's time to go. Yeah, I always throw all the box of water on me. Um, but I do it because so I can get less like shock when I jump in the water before the race. It's just different when I jump in the pool because you know, I have to be 100% ready. You're not controlling everything. You've controlled everything you can, and now it's a matter of things happening the way you want. What's going to happen? Come on, there we go. Good start. Come on. There we 
we go. Come on. Work your stroke. Work your stroke. Find your rhythm. Come on. Atta girl. I feel like I was going so fast and then I was so fast. Yeah, it's a learning process. Four free has a certain feel to it. You gotta get a certain comfortability to it. Yeah, losing is, okay. I think is just fundamental because you always learn something when you lose. It's a, you're, you also have a head game. You're playing head games with yourself. You were worried about people being in front of you or behind you or whatever's going on. You gotta be comfortable. Once you go, you gotta go. We will help you, you to understand what you did wrong and to improve in the future. So you have to lose to, to get used to win. I knew I could make them more tired, more training and push through this than most of the other athletes in the world can do. And they would still step up and give their best. And that means that we can do a lot more this season early and we can get a lot farther faster. The failure and the coming up short and the losing and coming in fifth or sixth or whatever it is, not making a final, that's where you start to really figure things out. And you become better and better and you don't get to the peak, you don't get to the top by being successful all the time. You get there by putting yourself in positions to lose and then figuring out how to still win anyway. Because if you're successful all the time, you're not doing good enough. You're not, you're, you're cutting yourself short. You are not accomplishing enough in your life if you're successful all the time. You can choose. You need a Yeah. Of course. Uh, I mean, what water bottle do you want? For someone who's water learning ball. a new program, she's learning with a new coach, she did exactly what I asked her to do, to a T. And she knew it was gonna, she was going to struggle doing it, and she knew it was going to be hard, and she knew it was going to be painful, and she said, I believe in Shane, I believe in what he's doing, I'm going to do it anyway. This is for John Moore. Hey, buddy. And this is yours. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate it. Appointment makes you want to go uh, yeah. back and train harder. I appreciate it. Um, the athletes I work with, I work with athletes that hate to lose. That you don't care if it was expected, you don't care if it's okay, in our minds, it's not okay. We lose, we lose by 0 0.01, we lose by 0 0.02, you lose by a mile, it's not acceptable. We're gonna go back and we're gonna finish, the, we're gonna fix things, we're gonna figure things out, and we're gonna work harder to, fig, to, to get better. Oh, he's going straight? No, he's like, oh, you, really, you came out for? No, the question was how fast can you jump out, fill the car, and jump back in after paying? So I have to do it? Yeah. Okay. I you never do that. Going? I never do that before, but oh, okay. Oh, no, back to me. <laughs> he ended up causing lots of problems working with uh, his kids' his age. He got coaches upset, this and that. And I was like, okay, look, if you're going to be a problem child, I'm going to make you swim harder. And he kept stepping up, and suddenly he'd be racing the older kids, um, our top stars, and he wasn't a problem child. My mother is, I love her so much, she's so funny, she can do everything for me, like, same as like my father. Um, she, she gave up her life because of me, so this is unbelievable, so I, I have a really big respect of her. Ezek csak ilyen részletek, amik itt vannak. Tehát ez már mind a, mind a, mind a mióta itt vagyunk fent Pesten, ez annak a, a termékei. Szóval. Tehát ő egy csoda számomra igazából, mert annak idején, amikor azt mondták, hogy nem is lehet gyerekem, akkor, akkor most így. Hát most meg egy ilyen gyerekem van, egy ilyen kis világ, világ legszebbje anyának, <gül> meg legjobbja, úgyhogy igen. Meg tényleg nagyon örülök Zsombira is, meg arra, hogy, hogy ő ilyen, ilyen kis felnőtt lett már, úgy mondhatom, mert, mert tényleg ö, elmertem engedni, mert tudom, hogy, hogy tud magára vigyázni, tudja a céljait, tehát tudja, hogy mit szeretne, és ő annak irány jó, a ruháit nem majd össze, de kitérdekel, hogy most gyűrött. Vagy eltűnt egy fél azok, nem ez a legfontosabb szerintem az életben. David's a story of we're going to finish what we started. And he went a separate way, we went our separate way. It was probably good for, for the best right there. He went through a lot of growth and a lot of changing and, and getting older. We work so well together and understand each other so well. Um, he brings the best out of me as a coach and I can rely on him to be a great leader for the rest of the team. Lapa. 
megműtötték a lábamat évelején, és azért volt most. Hát nem is egy év kihagyás, hanem hat hónap, ugye? De, de mire ez az egész helyre jön, az úgy körülbelül egy év lesz. Tehát az utolsó versenyem az, az tavaly decemberre volt. He was shocking. He's been training for a week after not training at all before that. A week in the water and he turns around and says, if I'm going to compete, I'm trying to get to the final. And he literally went for it. And he said, I'm getting this. I'm getting done. I'm going. And he actually almost pulled it off with one leg. I'm happy with the time and all the race. Sad part, I didn't make it to the finals. But it was easy, but I'm still not on this level. It's always good to lose, so I'm losing since three years, <laughs> so I'm ready to win, finally. That's why I'm always wake up in the morning.